Russian authorities say they have begun to withdraw some of the forces that are currently deployed in areas opposite the country's borders with Ukraine. Those movements, so far, appear to be very limited and a massive amount of firepower remains in place for a possible incursion into Ukrainian territory, which US officials have warned could come within hours. Separately, Russia's parliament has voted to press the country's President Vladimir Putin to recognize the independence of two breakaway regions of Ukraine, where the Russian leader has now claimed, without evidence, that a genocide is occurring. Russia's Southern Military District's press office announced earlier today that exercises on the Crimean Peninsula, which the Kremlin seized from Ukraine in 2014, had concluded and that the units involved were heading back to their garrisons. The Russian Ministry of Defense said that units from the Western Military District that had deployed there were also leaving. The Russian Ministry of Defense subsequently released video footage, seen below, showing personnel loading vehicles onto trains to substantiate these claims. Since last fall, Russian forces have steadily poured into various areas near the country's borders with Ukraine, including in Crimea, as well as in neighboring Belarus. These deployments have included more than half of Russia's battalion tactical groups, its primary ground combat formations, as well as many aircraft and a significant number of warships.